My name is John Evans. I'm a biologist and a chemist with years as an educator. I also taught psychology. Um, I'm an avid student of philosophy, religion, and mythology, and I'm here to tell you an incredible story. The story is called The God Gene, and it's about a scientific discovery of some of the most profound information that man has ever discovered. It will change the way that we look at religion and science. The God gene is a small part of our DNA that controls everything about us. It's the part that is different from chimpanzees. It's the part that makes us uniquely human. It's the part of our DNA that gives us morality, love, spirituality, and all the things that make us appreciate the world that we live in in a way very different than our closest relatives. The God gene itself produces chemistry in our body that gives us these moral, spiritual concepts. And obviously it comes in varying amounts. That chemical, if present in large amounts, could give us people the likes of Jesus Christ or Gandhi, um, smaller amounts of the chemical uh, w perhaps would give us people like Adolf Hitler or Charles Manson or Jeffrey Dahmer. The God gene is not science fiction. It's science fact. The scenario is fiction. Um, the fact is the God gene will be discovered by somebody at some point in the future, and the scenario I presented is simply one possibility. When the God gene is discovered, and it will be discovered eventually, in fact in very short time, it will have profound effects on the world, especially on those who are religious, who certainly do not want their religion boiling down to nothing more than a genetic trait. It's not just a genetic trait. It's much more profound than that. It's part of human behavior. When the secret of the God gene is eventually revealed, the world will be in upheaval. There could be rioting in the streets. There could be wars between nations. Uh, there certainly will be tremendous espionage between pharmaceutical companies trying to capture this chemistry. Uh, governments like our own may in fact be seeking this chemical for use as perhaps uh, a weapon against those who are deviant. Oprah Winfrey is going to want to know about this the entire world is going to want to know about this. It will be told, if not now, as a prediction of the future, it will eventually be told as a story about something that's already happened. It seems to me that it would be very wise to tell the story now. It will happen. As a dedicated teacher of science, I feel compelled to share this extraordinary story with the world, and I invite you to be a part of it.